A settlement has been reached in the civil lawsuit involving financier Jeffrey Epstein. The deal came just before jury selection was set to begin. For now, it means none of Epstein's alleged victims of sexual abuse will be able to testify against him. On Capitol Hill, the debate over Labor Secretary Alex Acosta's role in the controversial agreement that Epstein's lawyers were able to negotiate is heating up. Fifteen House Democrats have written a letter asking the Justice Department to investigate Acosta's involvement. Here to break all this down is Chuck Weber. He's a journalist from our CBS affiliate, WPEC in West Palm Beach, Florida. Chuck, thanks so much for being with us. Sure. Help us break down what this civil lawsuit is actually all about. Well, the civil lawsuit that was about to go to trial today was actually an attorney's countersuit against Jeffrey Epstein, and it didn't directly deal with these allegations of underage sex abuse against Epstein. It was basically Epstein had at one point sued this attorney. This attorney had filed lawsuits and won settlements for his clients, people that were making accusations against Epstein. And then Epstein backed away, had sued this lawyer, claiming unfair prosecution. He dropped that suit. And then this attorney had in turn countersued Epstein. But this trial, even though it didn't directly deal with sex allegations against Jeffrey Epstein, it possibly offered the opportunity for some of his victims to come forward here to court and testify. And it certainly renewed focus on what happened back there 10 years ago when Jeffrey Epstein got a plea deal in state criminal court that many saw as such a sweetheart deal serving just 13 months in the county jail, and much of that time he was able to go to his office here in downtown West Palm Beach for most of the day, and that was through most of that 13-month jail term. That's what he got. One victim in the case that finally was resolved here in state court, but there was also in federal court an agreement that they would not prosecute at the federal level. And that is where Alexander Acosta, the current labor secretary, comes in. He was the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida at the time, and he signed off on this non-prosecution agreement. Now, the attorneys that were all part of this civil lawsuit today, they are actually in federal court as well with a different situation there. They are asking a judge to negate that non-prosecution agreement at the federal level. And today, after this lawsuit was settled, those attorneys talked about that, and they say they are going forward with that in federal court, hoping to get that non-prosecution agreement thrown out that potentially could open Jeffrey Epstein to new prosecution at the federal level. He can't be prosecuted here at the state level because he was already once, but at the federal level, he could potentially face new charges if this non-prosecution agreement is thrown out by the judge there in federal court. Has yet to see whether that will happen, but they are pursuing that right now at the federal court level. Uh, Chuck, real, real quick before I let you go, uh, Epstein apologized um, to Edwards, but he didn't apologize to the women. Was that apology part of the settlement? The apology was part of the settlement, and Jeffrey Epstein was not here in attendance today. He didn't plan on attending. None of the lawyers expected him to be here, but his lawyer read this statement of apology, and that was part of the settlement, and that apology statement apologized to the attorney whom Epstein had originally sued. He acknowledged that he made false accusations when he sued him. And then again, Epstein dropped that suit and the attorney countersued. So the attorney now has that Epstein apologized for originally making the allegations that he acknowledges now are false. But as far as any sex victims, well, that's uh, for another court on another day, potentially. All right, Chuck, uh, making it all clear for us down in West Palm Beach, Florida uh, with WPEC. Thanks so much, Chuck. We appreciate it.